the nation's <laughs> favourite celebrities. It's not worth a tenner. Paired up with an expert. You're learning. <laughs> And a classic car. This is very exciting, isn't it? This is. Their mission to scar Britain for antiques. Got a nice ring to it. The aim to make the biggest profit at auction. Come on. But it's no easy ride. Break? I can't. Who will find a hidden gem? I hope I don't live to regret this. Take the biggest risk. We've definitely got a problem. Will anybody follow expert <laughs> advice? You'd never catch me by anything like that. There will be worthy winners. <laughs> And valiant losers. You should all be ashamed of yourselves. Put your pedal to the metal. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Celebrity Antiques Road Trip. Yeah. Dig away, baby. Salutations, Somerset. Look who's here. Titans of film, stage and screen and good chums. Stephanie Beecham and Amanda Barry. Hey, Stephanie, we're back together on an adventure. It's very nice to see you again. We're delighted to have you as our guests. With a career spanning six decades, Stephanie has a glittering array of stellar acting credits to her name. From acting alongside Marlon Brando to catfights in Dynasty. We're still alive, Stephanie. This is nearly true. And what I really like is that we're going to do antiques, which means in every shop there will probably be something older than me. <laughs> the swirl of showbiz all started from the age of just three for Amanda Barry. Her star shines brightly, either as a young Cleopatra in Carry On Cleo, or starring with good friend Stephanie as the Costa Cons in prison drama Bad Girls. Can I sell you at the auction? <laughs> Stephanie, if I find you in a shop, can I say, look at this antique that I've found? I would like to put it in auction. <laughs> Stop it! And to suit our acting doyens, we have the 1970 Jaguar 420G. Chauffeur driven by Terry, not Charles Hanson. <laughs> Terry, what is this wood? Oh, it's walnut. Walnut. It's always it's beautiful. walnut. And no seat belts in the back because they weren't mandatory back then. I know people will expect me to be able to be good at this. But you're instinctive. No, you're, but, and the same uh, as I am. We, we will see yes, something we like and there we go. Because I've done it and I've actually had stall. I even had a stall going during Coronation Street, which is awful. Concentrate on your job, Amanda. And I also <laughs> did Camden Lock when it first opened. I, I've also done fairs. Blimey, a lady of many talents, Amanda. Oh, my heart does flutter at an auction. Ooh, it's like flutters a few times, dear, I <laughs> from what I've heard. It's not just an auction, no. Cheeky. We shall cha-cha our way to an auction in Sirencester. But first, we're in the Somerset village of Norton Fitzwarren. At this delightful establishment, where Sir Hat Ahmet <laughs> and Tim Medhurst are poised and ready. So we're looking forward to meeting our celebs, aren't we? We are, and I can't wait to meet Stephanie. I spent my childhood watching Stephanie. Did you? I did, I did. She was all over the TV at that time. Ah. I'm a lot older than you, don't forget. I don't believe it. You don't look a, a year younger than me. Oh, that's nice. Tim's the gavel wielder with the taste for coins, and Sir Hat, as well as having a stare that would outdo Paddington, he's the go-to guy for porcelain. I have watched Amanda as Cleopatra in Carry On. Oh, I have Which not. Which is great. Yeah, ah, iconic. Okay, so okay. I'm very excited to meet her. Okay, boys, hang on to your asps because here comes the Jag. Hey, Steph, we're here. Thanks, Terry. Thanks, Terry. Oh, I'm Come so on, Mrs. I'm excited. Bye bye, Terry. Lovely bow tie. A hotspot for curios and collectibles, Taunton Antiques Collective has, as the name suggests, a number of antique shops operating from this lovely locale. Our glitzy ladies are armed with £400 each. Let's go. So hot. Stephanie. <laughs> it's I a love pleasure. It. Absolutely. So Aww. what are you looking at? I mean, you've caught me in my element. This is me, ceramics, porcelain. I know, I, I know I you're famous. Know what for. You like? I like dolls houses. <sighs> I right. Like tiny things and silly things. And then um, beautiful things. So 
This has got a lot in it. This it's shop, a it? huge place. While Stephanie gets set to find some antiques to plunder. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> How are you? I've been waiting for you. Hello. It's very nice to <laughs> meet you. Lovely to meet you. Thank you. Are you looking forward to antique hunting? I am desperately looking forward to antique hunting. My little heart is going like that <laughs> is right it? at this moment, yeah. And uh, I've heard that you've got a bit of a background with the old antiques. I have. A, a, a big background. Yeah. I always buy broken things. <laughs> oh, that's ne not necessarily a bad thing, as I long know. as you like it. Especially yes. as long as you like it. Should we get stuck in and start looking? Let it, yeah. Oh, please, go on. I'm glad that you're excited about it. Now we're all acquainted, let's see what we can find. Have a look at this. Look right. what I found. OK, so that is articulated. They're German. Yes. So German factories made these in the 19th century and especially for dolls that would have been finished off in England or in France. So often what happened, the head... Little French hat? Yeah, the, the, yeah, exactly. So the head would have been made in Germany, and the, in this case, obviously, the arms and the legs too. Bisque porcelain-headed dolls are so-called because of the flesh-like unglazed porcelain. All the rage in the late 19th century. And then it would have gone to France to be dressed. Yes. Because yes. why wouldn't you get your clothes in Paris? Well, I would die often. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't expect anything else, Stephanie. And I think these have sat in someone's cupboard. They are immaculate, and this they are. is the original clothing. I, I know you think I'm overexcited about this. It's because I am. <laughs> they are. They are wonderful. Okay. I'm so now, serious. What, what price have we got this? I can't for the pair. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. We, we, we've you don't got... mess about, do you? Nah. This is Stephanie Beecham, Sir Hat. She knows exactly where she's at. They're perfect. They're good quality. Okay. Shall I take care of the yes. babies? You take care of the baby. <laughs> now where are we going? Meanwhile, what of the lovely Amanda? The old ball and chain. Oh, here we go. Oh, darling, look at that one. Oh, look do at that. Do you reckon I could get it on? What? Please. <laughs> Get stuck on. Oh, Timothy. Oh, OK. Oh. <laughs> hey, do you know what? It's the rug, Timbo. Oh, I can't get it off now. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm looking for an antique tin opener to get him out of this. Where did we get him from? Yes, do you reckon this is quite cool, though? I think... Yes! <laughs> I'm afraid I... I must have probably get it off. I actually <laughs> like that rather a lot. That is my kind of thing. I wonder if it was used as a prison sort of... Well, it must have been, yeah. darling. It wasn't used as a household. Well, I was wondering, was... maybe it would have been theatre, but... I, I... Oh, no, darling, even actors... Been... Come on. <laughs> it would have been made of polisari, wouldn't yes. it? Yes. <laughs> actors <laughs> would not be able to drag that round them. Yeah, come off it, Timbo. The ball and chain was used in the 19th century, with some weighing up to £36. Pounds. It meant escape was virtually impossible. It's unprised. I'm out of breath You're, as well now. Like, because you tried to get... You wanted to walk round in it? Yeah. And draw attention to yourself? I know, show off well, a bit. That, I can see Sorry. what it's going to be like. You tell him, Amanda. Now, after all that lugging about with the ball and chain, Amanda's having a breather. Oh, well, <laughs> so oh, here she comes. Are we having fun? Yes. No, of course I am, darling. I'm in my heaven world here. I've just been enjoying it so much. Oh, good. So that means you're going to do a, an antique stall with me, are you, darling, in the no, future? No, no, oh, no. I, oh, I am I hopeless. Financially, I couldn't ask anybody for money. I can't bear it. Oh, you would if you bought it. <laughs> you do know that you're buying antiques to sell, Stephanie. Right, let's get back to work, ladies. Sir Hat, come... Keep up, Sir Hat. I don't know if you'll be keen on it, because I don't think it's even an antique. Well... It's this. That's too expensive. OK, you've decided. I don't think that that's even old. No, it's not. Um, but I don't think it's bad. OK. I like it. So what would you do with that if it was in your garden? I would put it on and then I would hang planters from it. OK. Um, and uh, I could grow greenery up it. And it makes a perfectly normal fence. Should we...? Well, Get this down. I want to see it now. Go on, then. Because go on. you are excited about it. And it... Well, it's just that I do know that these things sell, but maybe they only sell in garden centres. So you're right. It's, there's no age to it at all, really. Yeah. But it's good condition. 
It's perfectly attractive. You don't always find them. Could be painted white. The earliest surviving garden plan, dating from around 1400 BC, featured a garden trellis, making this nifty construct a sensationally enduring design. It's priced at £59. It would have to be a better price, okay. because that's too expensive. OK. Do you think? I'm what? talking as if I know anything about well, this stuff. Well, the amazing thing is, Stephanie, you've, you're turning someone that's into antiques look, into someone that's going to like something that's new. <laughs> well, do you think that's new, new? I do. If you give it to me for 35, I'll get it. But I, I, I guess I'd pay 40. Okay. Am I wrong? Should we park it for now? Park it for now. And just see what else there might be, because there might be something you love more even and more. More original better and proper. Yeah. Okay. While they do that, let's find our new chumsies, Amanda and Tim. I used to have one of these tracing slates. I've never seen one. You'd put the um, picture you wanted to draw inside, in and then you could draw around, around it, it. And then take the picture out. Yeah. Well, it's sort of teaching a child to be a forger. <laughs> you give it to Van Gogh, stick it in, and he goes, oh, look at those sunflowers, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy rushes off down to, you know, not to Christie's. So he, look at this. He goes, my God, you crack it. Do you know what? It's a lot more basic than I remember it when I was a kid as well. But, Everything's but, much more realistic, isn't it? Well, you, well when you were a kid. Yeah. Yes, it, things have changed a little. <laughs> I just went, oh, I thought he was the expert. Sorry. <laughs> yes. But he is such a darling, isn't he, Amanda? Onwards we go. Dee, 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 dee. These are interesting, these stamps. This one here... That one is, yeah. Yeah, it says here, 1840. That's the Penny is Black. Penny Black? Yeah, and they're an iconic stamp because I they know. were the first ever sticky postage stamp in the world, and they were issued in 1840. Yeah, I knew about Penny Black. Yeah, isn't it nice? Got the portrait of Queen Victoria. Yeah. Um, and it's been used, so it's got the stamp on it as well. Oh, well, they're very collectible. Um, Penny Blacks, it will come down to things like plate numbers and also the margins around the edge and how they've been cut, whether they've been used or not. This one, it's not in the best of condition, but... Well, you wouldn't be, darling, after 1840. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Indeed. In the 1830s, the British postal system was costly and complex. The Penny Black Revolution meant for the first time, people could send a letter weighing up to half an ounce for the flat rate of one penny, regardless of the distance travelled. I've never left anywhere just carrying a stump. Haven't you? Well, there's a first no, time for everything. A, yes. We can ask how much they are. There's no price on them. Um, but if they're around... If we can what? get them yeah, for what? around 30 or under, then I think that'd be worth taking to auction, because people do collect those penny blacks. Yes. So, yeah? Yeah, well, okay. Tim, I'm with you, baby. All right. Along with the unpriced ball and chain, let's see what dealer Gary can do on the price. I'm here to ask you, what is the very best you can do? What if you buy the stamp and I throw the ball and chain in? 40 throw pounds. the ball and chain? <laughs> no, <laughs> don't throw it hard. For, 40 pounds for the two. <laughs> that sounds like a very generous okay. deal, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. yeah thank is. you very much, yeah, Gary. Yeah. We'll shake thank your you hand on much. that. Thank you very much, Amanda. Thank you very much. That wasn't too Lovely. painful. That breaks down to 15 for the ball and chain and 25 for the penny black leaving lovely Amanda with £360. Now, where are we? Oh, there they are. Something I've spied. I think you might like this. I, I'm hoping you're going to like this. Hello. Sausages. That comes off, which is great because the mouth is open oh, to... Little person, what do you do? I think it's... It's a pouring vessel. Probably for my bath oil. It can be for your bath oil. It could be for what else? Some sort of elixir. Yeah. Something. <laughs> something Longevity. Long... Oh. You don't need it, Stephanie. Back to business, please. That is absolutely enchanting. Tell me why you like it. I it's love it. Kitchen's old Harry, and and, <laughs> and it's and and it's. But it's beautifully made, and it's also good-looking. I tell you what, he's lost his nail varnish this side. He has. He's got a broken paw. Well, we can always use that as a little bit of a negotiating I would have tool. So. Price, please, Stephanie. Okay, so he's mice and porcelain, bolognese, uh, dog food, and 195 quid. Okay, so. 
Tu es trop cher, chérie. <laughs> He's actually spot on French. Yeah. Imitating Meissen. So he's not Meissen. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a Meissen model. What's Originally the made. Bolognese thing? That's the breed of dog. So the, these little dogs are Bolognese dogs. So originally, this would have been made in about 1750, 1755 by the Meissen factory. Yes. But as was popular in the 19th century, other manufacturers copied archives. Okay. So in this case, it's made in Paris by the Samson factory, dates from about 1880 to 1900. And I think it's wonderful because what they have done that Meissen didn't do was add a stopper <laughs> and turn it into a novelty. I know. Which I think is fab. And I think that's going to speak to the market at auction. You're very googly eyed. I think he's absolutely heavenly. I think it's so much Should character. We? I think we should definitely take it I to ask about a better very price. Sweet. <laughs> I think he's going to come and, and <laughs> snuggle. <laughs> Don't drop the lid. Come on then. All right, Sergeant Major. Along with a pair of German Beesk porcelain dolls at £20, the garden trellis at 59 and the Edme Sampson porcelain Bolognese terrier at 195 we have a total of £274. Yikes! Stand by, Mark. Absolute best on him mm -hmm. will be 170 <laughs> Oh, he just said 150 because he knows his vet bills are very, very high. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, 150, okay. okay wonderful. Now, uh, what about that trellis? Do you know what I'm talking about? Absolute, absolute 35. I can't do any more than that. Do you mind if I get it? I know it's not an antique. It's up to you. You okay. love it. Yes. Oh! There we go. He jumped in. He made, yes. he made, he made your mind up. It. And the pair of German Beesk porcelain dolls. These people are so kitsch. But detailing is beautiful. Aww. And they articulate properly, so I'm very happy. Good. Excellent. That's okay. what we like. Let's get our monies out. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Happy? Bye-bye. Oh, no. <laughs> woof, woof. <laughs> That's my job. Blimey, Stephanie. That totals 205 smackers. 20 for the pair of German Beesk dolls, 35 for the trellis, and 150 for the Edme Sampson porcelain doggy. Leaving Stephanie with £195. Way to go. Snag us a pack. Right. On to the next one. As Terry zooms off into the distance, Guess who has snuck in to look where Stephanie and Sir Hat have just been? Oh, look at you sitting down. I'm Having si a rest. Sitting in a red chair with red glasses on. Looking as if I'm very comfortable. Like, <laughs> like Charles I on his throne. It is, it is, <laughs> it is. A Carolean. It's quite ish. small, isn't it, the chair? Yes. <laughs> That's actually a really nice chair, isn't it? Yes. And you're, it's, it is sort of based on a. <laughs> 17th century design. It is. Um, and I they... like the pattern that's on yeah. here. That is something that's all the rage at the moment, is sort of old leather with a nice patina that's actually still together and in fairly mm. good condition. I mean, what's the price? It's up at what? 175 with that. Oh, well... I don't think oh. that's bad, is it, for a nice, solid 19th century chair? It, no, it isn't. No, with no. nice leather. And one might be able to crush them down a little bit with... Should we have a look at its legs? Oh, yes. It's be strong. Look at that lovely frame. Oh, no, you, I do agree with you, actually. The useful oak um, frame. You, you, you've won mm. me over under the chair, yes. You could um, try and uh, get that down nearer the 100, maybe. Let's go and do it, shall we? OK, let's okay. do it. Come on. This pair are easily distracted. We shall leave this shopping locale yet. Right, Mark, another set of customers for you. I'm here to do... <laughs> I'm here to do business with you. Hello, I'm Amanda. Nice to meet you too. And nice to meet you too, darling. Hello, Mark. The thing Hello. is, we love your chair. It is lovely. We love it enormously, and we would probably like to have it, but we have to have it for much less money, money than it was before. Crumbs. What is the very best you could do for us? Absolute best, very, very best, would be 150. So I think that's a generous reduction, don't you, Amanda? Tim, get your money. Oh, pay Mark. Don't mess with the Barry. Rubble, I'll go first. Come on. Come on, bring the chair. Top notch buying, Amanda. That chunky buy leaves you now with £210. Come on, ball and chain. I'm coming. Come along, 
Come on and change. Come along, whatever you do. I'm coming. Tim, what are you thinking of? You should have clamped the ball and chain to your ankle. We know it fits. <laughs> Meanwhile, where is the heavenly Stephanie? So I've got half my money still, so yeah. my imagining is that I would buy a little cheap sentimental and we need to buy something practical or potentially practical yeah. for the, the chunk of the money. And I think we should blow the whole lot, spend it all. Yes, what all. else would we There's do? There's no point buying something and just having money left in our pockets. I think Jeopardy oh, I, is the way to go. I wouldn't consider it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is against my DNA. That's, no, no, no. <laughs> the Hay Big Spenders have made it to the Somerset town of Bridgewater. Electric light bulbs were used at Bridgewater Carnival in 1903. Illuminating the town today is Stephanie. Okay. It is. Okay, I'm going to dash dash round and let you out. Lovely, thank you. We have trained you well, Sir Hat. Thank you. Here we are. Well, are you excited about your next shop? I feel that I ought to do something that's definitely going to make some money. Well, we need to make money. Let's get stuck in. Isn't it delightful in here? A sea of antiques are plenty, Stephanie. There is now £195 in your purse. Look at it. It's a safe. OK. Right, what's inside? OK. Well, that is truly not going anywhere near anything that I'm interested in. Right. So, look, we've got the makers' names here. Phillips and Sons, safes. But it's genuinely grotty. Isn't it? I love that, though. Um, no. Read the room, Sir Hat. And look, you can put your jewellery in there. No, no. Stephanie definitely doesn't like it, Sir Hat. At all. There's definitely not backwards and coming forwards, so no. let's, let's keep looking, shall OK, we? OK. While they stay away from hulking big safes, let's find Amanda. Amanda and Timothy have been let loose in Taunton. John, Paul, George and Ringo played here twice in 1963. <laughs> ah, all you need is love. When Amanda and Tim are around, here they come. Look oh, at this. looky, looky, looky. Oh, oh after look. you. Oh, we're in. <laughs> Antiques on High is a mix of carefully curated and get your sleeves rolled up and dig in which our pair are doing. Blimey, they ain't half noisy. Should we swap places? Swap yes, I think if you... Uh, I'll swap places. If you pull that thing away, you can get in the cupboard. I've lost my shoe. You've lost your shoe? Lost your my... shoe's come I got off. it, I got it, I got it, I got my shoe. You both need to calm down. I love rummage. I really love rummaging. This is my idea of complete heaven. <laughs> Truly, it really is. Just everywhere looking, and there's nobody here, so you, you can have a look in places that you're not supposed to. Me! Don't watch. It's secret. <laughs> Amanda, you are simply adorable. Back to Bridgewater. Hi, Terry. What is it, what is it? Well, I don't know. It's kind of outrageous, but I think I really <laughs> rather love it. Do you know what? The funniest thing is, I think I've walked past this about three times. And, you know, cos it's just there? Yes. You don't see it? No. But look, look. It's just... it's a Bacchus feast. I think she likes it. Well, look, shall I tell you a bit about it? Because it's got a bit of a history mm -hmm. in that this is Italian, 1950s. This is a Miolica glaze, so it's a tin glaze, something that was developed in Italy in the 16th century. So okay. it's, tr it's true to itself in that it's Italian, and it's, they've picked out a technique that's been going on for hundreds of years. So the, okay, the technique is, is, you know, it's been updated. This dripping, that's, you know, it's about a bit of pop arty in a way. Yes, how am I going to be able to afford it then? I don't know uh -oh, how much it uh -oh. is. 
Yes, there's a bit of damage, and I saw some round the back here on the back of the pedestal. Okay. But if it's if it's made correctly, yes, it's in two parts. So that's good. I like it. And I like these little ram heads. These naughty little animals. Yeah. I love it. I love it. And I'm glad you do. <laughs> I do. I do. It's not prized. Stephanie has just under 200 smackers. Stand by, Martin. Where is he? Martin! Oh, here he is. Well, we've seen that outrageousness, and <laughs> I think I've fallen in love with it. Have you not? So, yes. So, what's... The price on that one is £85. I do love it, but I think I'm going to make a firm and final offer of £65. I will accept the offer of £65, but I do Thank need you. to keep the plant. You need... Uh, what's its name? Bert. Bert. You can keep Bert. <laughs> we'll have to find Roberta to put it. Oh, I like Bert. Here's the money. Thank you, Martin. Thank I'm you. thrilled, really. Good. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Do you expect me to carry that out now? Yes. <laughs> but of course, Sir Hat, £130 is the sum now remaining in your dwindling kitty. You are so strong and wonderful. Well, it's not heavy at all. It's absolutely enormously heavy. Ah, he's showing off. Now, dare we go back to Taunton? Are you enjoying shopping? Oh, darling, I love it. You love it, you don't could, you? You could, just, you could just leave me here just forever. What I'd love to ask you what? is, what was it like being Cleopatra? <laughs> oh, uh, well, now when I look at it, I think, why was I crying every night when I went home? Because I thought I was so ugly. No, really? Honest to God, yeah. Wow. But it, that's uh, absolutely true, because... Of course, the, the reason being, you see, is when things were in fashion, the people that were um, employed, they were all these blondes with huge blonde hair and buxom. And there was me, darling. I'd got a complete complex about it, and I was going, they're all laughing at me because That's I'm amazing. so ugly. Because you don't see that I'm side of it. Person. You don't see that side of it because, no. you know, you just see beautiful no. Cleopatra. And also, nobody thought when we were doing Carry On films, you know, they, we, didn't men we didn't tell people. Mm. We were in a career old film. Mm. But it wasn't my start-up. I'd been going for ages then. Yeah, yeah. Because I started at three. That's why I'm so tired now. <laughs> Shall we now go and play a bit of carry-on shopping? Oh, carry-on rooting. Carry-on rooting. rooting. Carry-on carry on rooting. Where should we go next? Well, wherever you're going, I'll follow you. are the expert. I could listen to you all day, Amanda, but we best get looking. There are just over £200 left. Tim? What have you got there? Well, it's the sort of thing that I always fall in love with. Oh, I always think with metalware like this, it can surprise you, one, sometimes how new it can be, or how early. Because some of this Eastern metalware... Look at that. Yeah, Imagine they've got to put a new bolt there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if this was um, maybe even 18th century or earlier. Can you imagine what it would look like new? I think it would have looked stunning, because I'd imagine the outside was tinned, so it would have looked silver. It, do, it even does now. Right. So how much is it? It is £110. Pounds. Oh, that's not bad, is it? I don't know. Hmm. I, was... I think you'd need to try and get that down a fair bit. Let's go get at him, Amanda. Let's chat with dealer Vincent. We'll do the pot for 45 OK? Does that put a smile on your face? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Timothy, pay the money. Now. Pay him, OK. <laughs> There we are. Thank you very much, Thank Tim. You. Great work. Amanda now has £165. <laughs> what fun we're all having. The shopping is now finito for today. I am so bad at asking people for money. It's my curse. I can't do it. Can't do it. I just have no to good. see yeah. big eyes looking at me no, and, and I'll give yeah. it away. 99. This is really pretty, isn't it? Oh, darling, Somerset's beautiful. It is lovely to be with you again. Oh, darling, it's lovely to be with you again. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? It's also perfectly darling, darlings. I must say, 
I could spend a lot of my life doing yes. this. It's been wonderful. We could, couldn't we? Just yes. sitting in the back of Terry's car. No work. Nattering away. You're making quite the impression, Terry. Got some money left, and is that the same with you? I think so, yes. I, I lost count, darling. I, I was living in this, this magical world of, oh, look, oh, look. <laughs> oh, Tim, look, Tim. Win. Tim, look, 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 look. What, where? Oh, <laughs> she means the other Tim. Yeah. But, listen, I could do that. I could do it every day of my life. It would never, never to me feel like work. It would just be, oh, what a joy. Love it. I'm longing to see <laughs> what you've got. And I am longing to see what you have got. There's a couple of things that I'm confident about, and there's a couple of things that I know have written whoops. <laughs> no whoopsies allowed. <laughs> Amanda and Tim have been having a simply wondrous time. They scooped up four lots, spending 235 smackers. The sort of thing that I always fall in love with. Stephanie and Sirhat have been unstoppable with their buying prowess. They've also snapped up four lots, totalling £270. That is absolutely enchanting. Let's have a gander at yesterday's heavenly spoils. Tim and Sirhat have joined the ladies. Ta-da! Oh. <laughs> Just a yeah. little light piece. Yes, it's very subtle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just felt. Yeah. Yes. You, that, I love it? the oh, ram's yeah. heads. They're so good. I love so the ram's heads. Yeah. Really. Sixty-five. Oh really? Pounds. Oh well, that's what you paid for that. That's yeah. very good. I adore that chair. Oh him, he chair. It's lovely. It's isn't it? absolutely yeah. heavenly. Yes. It's sweet as a bug. And I love the um, the wear on the leather. Yeah. All yeah. nice and. Patinated. Beautifully. Very I love it because it's it looks it looks right, doesn't it? Yes. Mm, yeah, yes. it does. Yeah. Yes, it nice, does. Nice we point. were quite quite pleased with the price as well, £150. <laughs> my dollies, my dollies, their articulation is very good. I hate and them. <laughs> what did they cost, the little dollies? 20 quid. Oh, right. Well, oh, you can't lose, right. you can't lose more than 20 each. pounds. Then. Ten or each. I love that. Do you? I Me think too. that's gorgeous. I was trying to That's go... my favourite thing that you've bought. Is it? Yeah. I think that Is might it? go bonkers. Do you? Oh, I wish bonkers. it would. That could go it? bonkers. Yeah. With spoils duly noted, we hit the road once more. The boys will meet up with the gals later. Well, the whole because thing is pretty lovely, isn't it? You do, learn, isn't it? You do Look, learn things sometimes. Can you please get a better day in no. England? It is beautiful, isn't it? Amanda has been dropped off in the village of Sandford in Somerset to meet up with Tim. Let's board the Fruity Express to find out about the railway line that once transported wagons of berries to London and beyond. It soon earned the moniker the Strawberry Line because of the huge volume it would carry on board. The Strawberry Biz was once so lucrative here that it was dubbed Red Gold. Lois Brenchley, founder of the Strawberry Line Recreation Route, is waiting to tell Amanda just how important this magical railway line continues to be. Let's come and have a look at our lovely station. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sanford Station was completed by East Somerset Railway in 1869 and ran from Yatton through Cheddar to Witham Junction. So you're going to tell me all about your lovely station. Hello, ladies. Welcome aboard. Ah, uh ah. -huh. We found Tim. Amanda, cool. He suits that hat. By the mid 1870s, the wealthy Great Western Railway had snapped up this popular line. I want to know, why was it called the Strawberry Line? Because the three villages up the line from here, um, Axbridge, Cheddar and Draycott, had this wonderful soil on the edge of the Mendips, <gasps> yeah? Yeah. And it grew strawberries. Um, and it was a big business for them. So every little station along here, of which there are nine, and then the two terminuses, all contributed to that situation and got something back. So as they passed through the villages, the people could smell the strawberries. Ah. So it was a lovely name for a strawberry line and the trains were called the Strawberry Specials. In the height of strawberry growing season, over 100 wagons would leave bulging with red gold for nationwide distribution. Everything was delightful until the huge swing of Dr Beeching's axe in 1963. Well, it was Actually. the bombshell dropped by 
the beaching report. Oh, the beaching report. And yeah. of course, the railways weren't making any money, and there was they hadn't been maintained during the war. No. And so, it, in 1963, thousands of miles of track, and hundreds of stations all closed at the same time. This was one of them. For over a century, the line was well used until its closure in 1965. Today, not only does it stand as a monument to British railway heritage, it lives on as a popular cycling and walking route. While Amanda has a good nosy round, let's find Stephanie and Sir Hat. They're in the village of Draycott in Cheddar, home to a third generation family of strawberry growers. The strawberry line was a vital link between the agricultural heartland and the urban centres of the country. It was a game changer for local strawberry farmers. Chris Seeger continues the family strawberry biz that's been on the go for decades. Where did they come from originally? Originally, I think they come from France. The strawberry has danced a transatlantic tango with origins in France and North and South America. How long has this farm, this strawberry oh, farm? Well, been? my grand set it up in the 60s. How wonderful. Mm. And But it wasn't big like this. No, 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 it was only small. She had a few in her back garden and she sold them up on the side of the road. You, you put these on a lorry now, do you? They're on my van, yeah, and I take them to Bristol, to a fruit to market. Bristol. My grand, I used to have a wheelbarrow. We used to load them on the wheelbarrow and push them just down the bottom of the village and put them on the train. Proving the strawberry line was crucial for helping strawberry growers like Granny and Granddad Seeger make their business as profitable as possible. During strawberry season, Chris and his team pick about 100 trays a day. Fill my panic. There's a Chris. big oh, one there. Look at the size of that one. Uh, we'll, have a good, we'll have a good look round in here and find some more. Give me one of those. <laughs> Back in Sandford, Amanda's getting to work. Hello. Could I have a ticket, please? I think I could give you one. Thank you. Right. Where do you want to go to? I'd like to go to um, an antique shop. Do you know, it just happens to be that this one is for the nearest antique shop. Perfect. Thank you very much. My pleasure. See you later. Anything. Bye. Now, it is such a glorious day. How about some straws? Amanda and Tim have made it to join their chums for a taste test. This looks delish. Is it true oh. that strawberries are the only fruit that have their seed on the outside? What else? Gooseberries? Oh. Sweet corn? Oh, no, that's not fruit, is it? <laughs> Do you know how many seeds? <laughs> My expert has spoken again. Yeah, he's some guy. Well, come on, let's eat as much as we can before we go. <laughs> this is mm -hmm. the one, two, that's three, and... Thank you, Dad. So I'll ask, do you have to stop eating? No, we don't. Stop. We do, we do. We've got to go shopping. Indeed. The enchanting strawberry line remains as a nod to our British railway heritage and now acts as a green corridor in an urbanised landscape, enhancing not only wildlife but encouraging sustainable modes of transport, like cycling and walking. Now I can see Amanda and Tim. So you could have had a completely different career. You could have gone down the antique path. Yep. But if I was really to be honest, I was a dancer for many, many years, a long time. And the utter freedom and lack of responsibility you've got being in the chorus, that's a bit like this shopping is being, that's easy. Well, I have to say, all I think of is Cleopatra. You're I'm my a... Egyptian beauty. Oh, thank you, darling. But you see, I stayed in the milk too long and I've gone all wrinkled and crumb <laughs> and crap put. You look so, wonderful. I'm... Absolutely. Amanda and Tim have now reached the smallest town in Somerset, Axbridge. King John granted the town a royal charter in the 13th century. It even had its own mint. Right, here we go, Amanda. Are you ready to rumble? Ready to rum! I'm ready to rum! Ready to rum, bull. Yeah! Someone looking to make a mint is our unstoppable Amanda. Let's get in there. Oh. I'm there! I'm in there before you! Get out this of This is way. great. You might have an I'm coming in there. She's a lady on a mission. <laughs> this sunny medieval square is home to Ripley Antiques and Vintage. Inside, what a treat lies before us. A veritable bounty of goodies awaits. 
Let's get delving. Amanda has 165 smackers. Let's see what she finds. What do you think? What? Is that a bit of me? Is that a... Oh, my darling. Oh, help. Do you have a big wardrobe, do you? Oh, don't. <laughs> you open a cupboard and things go, wear me, wear me. You haven't worn me for you. Well, they get rid of me and let somebody else wear me. They reach out and they go, Amanda, Pick you remember me? me? You said, Pick me. me. Pick me. Let me go out today. They go, all oh, right. And they go back in the cupboard. <laughs> and you take your favourite jumper and your... <laughs> my tatty old shirt that I had oh. on. Go out in that. While they talk threads, let's lead them to rummage for some actual antiques. Where are Stephanie and Sir Hat, by the way? They made it to Coxley, deep in the heart of the Somerset countryside. Set over five and a half acres, <laughs> Wells Reclamation is a family biz that has been on the go for nearly 40 years. Look at this place. Oh, it's immense. Hello, do you think you could manage that? We're not buying that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bit big. And I could stay out here till I got lost at midnight. <laughs> Let's get inside and have a looky look. So much here, you've just got to get your eye in. This place is massive. Stephanie has £130 remaining. Well, after this morning. No, come on. <laughs> well, Amanda, we saw Amanda, Amanda's... Amanda's chair is simply fabulous. That is ordinaire. It is a bit... Yeah, it's ordinary. Goodbye, goodbye. Thank you very much. <laughs> Have a very nice life. But you don't care. like the fleur de lis? I, I think that it's tired. It's tired. It's tired. We're tired. No, I'm not tired. <laughs> uh, that's no, tired. No, I meant we're tired. We might want to sit in this chair. Have you tried it? Uh. <laughs> I could give you a little massage. Oh, a little that, neck I wouldn't say no to that. <laughs> oh. Oh. Madam, would you like to buy the chair? No. Oh, it didn't work no. then. Let's leave them to find a showstopper. Meanwhile, in Axbridge. Jim, Jim. Oh, these are nice. Aren't they just? I think they're very now. They're kind of in, aren't they? They're, they would be. They would fit most places. Oh, comfortable, aren't they? Yeah, they're bouncing. <laughs> so they're sort of chromium plated, and they've got nice leather. The original leather, by the looks of it. By the, the oh crikey, thing. I think. So. I reckon they look. They've look, got some good age. I reckon they might be sixties, mightn't they? Sixties or seventies, do you think? It was only yesterday, as far as I can say. Yes. <laughs> They're vintage. Yeah, I'm, I'm more than vintage, dear. I... You're barely vintage. No, but that... Charmer. They, if you go out and good. buy these new, oh, I mean, oh, imagine oh. the cost of a chromium-plated, nice thick leather stool in a in a branded no, shop. It would be, be a lot of money. How much are these? You've got a price ticket there. Oh, sorry. I'll tell you in a minute. Just hang on. I can't see. Does that say hundred pounds? Yeah, each. Oh, each. Sorry. Yeah, and you've only got one hundred and sixty-five pounds. <laughs> I thought we were quids in there. I thought, oh, I've done it. <laughs> Cracked it. We've done it. We've beaten them. We... I think this is the best. I agree. I think possible. I think if you walk to this end of the shop, they jump out at you, don't they? Well, they, they do. do. They look very stylish. No, they do. They they've got. And they've got the nice patina you're looking also... for as well. <laughs> yes, they've got one, but they, they're very nice quality. They are. Do you think we could call him in? Are we yes. calling him in? Yes. <laughs> so... Jules? As if by magic. Ah, hello. hello. <laughs> Lovely to see you again. Nice to see you again. Brilliant, pal. And how are you? I'm, I'm all right, my darling. Good, good, good. We found this lovely pair of stools. Well, they are a bit of a standout piece, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. The only problem we've yes, got... Yes, he hasn't got any money. Is... <laughs> he couldn't do 130, could you? And I will come and do a bit of bri waxing. I could sit in the shop if you're short of people. I'm going to hold you to that. Will you? Yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> do it, I promise you. Thank Jules, you. thank you very Jules, much. Thank you, thank, you so much. thank you very much. Thank you. Right, let's get the money out, shall we? Give it to the man immediately before he changes his mind. There we are. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very thank much. You so thank much. You. No, thank you so much, darling. Thank you. Really, thank you. Brilliant deal, Amanda. That nifty buy leaves you with just £35. Well, there we are. Last uh, shop done, I'm Amanda. Very... Well done. Oh, so... High five, that one. Right. OK. Let's get going. Let me get We're... the door for you. Oh, buddy. thank you. You're such a gentleman. All right, Tessa. <laughs> thank you, darling. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> That's Amanda and Tim all shopped up. How about Stephanie and Sir Hat? Aha! Uh -huh. Something. Stephanie, look at this. 
Okay. What do you think that is? It looks like you might have to um, It <laughs> is a several tables. Well, look at this. We spin okay. it. Okay. Okay. Yep. Storage in here. Yes. We flip it. Fun thing about this card table. Yes. Games table. Is that it does this. Yes. Okay. So now I've seen hundreds of card tables, but I've never seen the shelves underneath. We'll put one of these shelves away. Just put that one away. And then think of this against a wall. So if I'm the wall. You're the wall. And that could be really quite an interesting display situation. Yes. Card tables became most popular from the Regency period. The Industrial Revolution ensured the new middle class had not only a parlour, but more leisure time to enjoy games. Originally, these shelves would have been used to put your counter chips on, or maybe your scotch, or whatever your yes. drink of preference would be whilst you're playing a game. But who does that these days? Probably not many people. Not many people. But yet... I think we're going to give it a try, but we're going to have to get it for 130 How and the pricing is, is... Well, it might be less than 130 No, it's 195 195 at the Let's go see. I mean... Let's go see. You know, what's there to lose? Nothing. It's our last bit of money, our last shop. I think you can do Let's it. Do it. Let's, do it. Let's, Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We have £130 remaining. There's Emma to chat dosh with. We found this little table. Yeah. We think it's darling. It does all the flexible things. What might your very best price be? Um, I could do it for 150. How about 130? As it's you, I can. Nicely done, Stephanie. 130. Yeah. Fabulous. Thank you very much. Let me give you the whole of my money. Lovely. There you go. Thank you. We're done. <laughs> We've got everything we need. Well, we've got no more money, so that's it. <laughs> Shall I carry this? Come on, strong man. I'm making very good use of his eye. <laughs> you are. Thanks, Emma. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Emma. <laughs> Thanks, Emma. Every single penny blown. Well done, Stephanie. Well, look, I'm really happy with this. I hope are you? you are. I hope I you are. I hope so. For, for a children's tea party, yeah. you know, it's heavenly. That's it. The shopping is over. The girls are reunited. We've done it, darling. We've done it. We've That's done it. that na next what? stop auction. I know. We've got all our things. That was now. heavenly, wasn't it? Absolutely. Time for some shut eye. Can you believe it? Auction day is here. Fizzing with excitement, we have Stephanie and Amanda. How lovely. Maybe somebody give us a spin-off. Two old ladies. Oh, I mean, two old ladies. I don't mean two old ladies. Two old ladies. I am That's the what we bought. Two old ladies, not true, darling. Two old antiques. Well, people could just take us from place to place. And they could buy us food. I'd watch it. After a good old charge around Somerset, the gang have gathered in Sirencester. Home to the Cotswold Auction Company, where Tim and Sir Hat eagerly await. Here you are. Hi. Are we? Are you Hi. okay? I'm excited. Hello. 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 How are you? How are you? How are you? Get on with it. Get on with it. Get on are you with it. Are you in? Yeah. yeah. Come, Come on, on then, go. ladies Come first. On. Eager. After you, go on. No. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Make up your minds. It's chocker with bidders in the room, absent commission bidders, and even more online across the globe. Twenty online. The lady in command is Lindsay Braun. Maybe then takes it at 40. Amanda was a tour de force, spending £365 on five lovely lots. Any tickle your fancy, Lindsay? We all really like this late Victorian red leather armchair. I think it's probably an apprentice piece because it's unusually small but a bit big for a child's chair. It's really well done and we think there should be quite a bit of interest in this. Stephanie blasted the £400 budget to Kingdom Come on five lots. Oh, this is one of my favourite lots. They just don't come up very often. It's a jug in the shape of a dog, so uh, it is quite unusual, and I'll be very interested to see what it brings. Look at them go. <laughs> Take your seats, please. 
Oh. Have you both been... You've been to an auction before, haven't you? Yes. Stephanie, yes. have you? Yes. Yeah. yeah. We're, all, we're all old hats oh, at it now. Yeah. It. We know yes. what happens. <laughs> Beautifully demonstrated. Stephanie's Majolica Jardiniere is first to tempt the bidders. Would it be something that Sable Colby would have at no, her home? No, never. Oh. What? 25, 28, at Gosh. 28. 30 on the sale route, 35 on easy, at 35, <laughs> looking for 40, at 35. It's climbing, it's working hard. 40. She's... Anyone in the room or selling online at 35. Oh, no. <laughs> You're so supportive, Amanda. Just a small loss, Stephanie. Nothing personal, but, you know, who wants a big lump of a giant? <laughs> Amanda. You're next with the 19th century tinned jug. And they had mended it, and anything I feel that they bothered to mend mm. must have had a bit of value. It OK, OK, it's coming up now. Is it coming up now? At 20. It's at fast 20. asleep, oh, darling. It is a sleeper. At 22. It's on 25 now, at 25. Oh. Is that in the room? I'm quite no upset one. about that. I'm looking for eight. Are you waving to someone or bidding? You are bidding. Good. <laughs> at 28 right, in the room. To... <laughs> Just had to be sure. At 28 in the room. Bid quickly it's online. A beautiful Bid. truck. Or 30. Well, it didn't fly. Just it did last. sleep. It was okay. a sleeper. Wait. 35. No, absolutely sure. OK. Online at the I love Take that six. jug. I'd have taken it home. Yeah. Ah, unexpected result. But someone got a bargain. Oh. Mm. It was okay. worth a go. It was. It was worth taking the punt. Always. Next, we have Stephanie Sampson porcelain doggy. Over there, look. It's going, take me home with you. No, it's got somebody this, else is coming. Cute, it's got this cute little quiff. Start me at 50 on this one. £50 pounds to start, on. straight in at 80, 85, 90. Ooh. At 90. At 90 pounds. But we need to go. Looking for yeah. 95. A lot more. 95. At 95. Yes. Come on. Jim. All quiet in the room. I will sell if we're all done at 95. Oh, I can't see it. I can't look. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, disappointing, Stephanie. Little Woofles didn't raise the woof. It was near. It was near. <laughs> it was near, darling, near it. <laughs> we have Amanda's Victorian penny black stamp. Beautifully cradled. It's the one, isn't it? If you yes, think of a, yes. a childhood stamp album, yeah. the one thing you're looking for is penny, penny black. black. Yeah. 20 pounds, take. 20 bid, thank you, at 20. Eight bid at 20. At 20 pounds, bids in the room. You should all be ashamed of at yourself. At 20 pounds, all quiet online. Are we all done? At 20 and selling. All oh, be ashamed of yourself. Oh. It wasn't the first class result we hoped for. It's nice to fail with a bit of class and dignity. That's what I like. Where I was liked. that? I where, don't know. Where we... <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie's garden trellis now. Fingers crossed. I think it's going to do well. £20 of 20 here. Oh, we've got a bid. 20. At 20, looking for two. At 22. Yes, at we know you want it. 25. 28 in the room. Come on, and come on. 28, looking for 30. Yeah. Are we all done and finished? At £28, no, and selling. I would have bought it for 28 What a steal, eh? Plenty more to go. But it's a nice, it's such a nice thing. Can you two stop doing sorry. whatever you're sorry. doing? It was really, it's, it's really obvious. Sorry. You tell them, Sir Hat. Now, blimey, spectacular portering. We have Amanda's ball and chain. I can just imagine this being in a dingy Victorian cell, can't you? Yeah. Someone chucked in yes. a ball and chain for nicking some veg off a market oh, stall. Oh, they got off a loaf, don't they? Yeah, <laughs> off a loaf. At £30, you're not going to find another one for a while. 35 40 online. Go on, go on. £40, bids online at 40 45 At 45 50 Go on. Hey. You'll happy. never see another one. Here it goes. 60 At really? 60 65 Still going up. 70. At 70. 70. At 70. It's slowly climbing, isn't it? In the room, 75. It's a We're still thinking about it. You can see this program that we've got. Oh, it's still going. 80. Oh. At 80. We're all done and finished at 80. Oh, well done. Well done, you two. You smashed it, Amanda. Excellent result. Everybody, everybody should have one, darling. <laughs> you should all have a ball and chain to keep the ball in check. That's what I say. Come on, Stephanie. It's your folding games table next. 
What would you do with it today? I suppose plants. you could do your plants. plants. That would plants, be great. Plants, yeah. Plants. It would look Lovely. really good. At 30, 35. At 30, 35, 40. 40, 45 here. 40. It's going 50. up. 55 on commission. Please, Still we just need some momentum. Come on. Out. 60 in the room. 16, 16, yes. Are we all done? At 60 oh, pounds no. and selling. Oh, I don't think I'm going to go into <laughs> antiques. <laughs> it's a lovely thing. Just the perils of auction. You win some, you yeah. lose some. Yes. I mean, we just don't know. If we knew what we were going to make money on, we'd buy those things. It'd be I very know. easy, wouldn't it? Amanda, your turn now with the pair of mid-century chairs. I like them. Stylish. Beautiful as soon leather. as we walked in, mm. didn't we? They, were there. they just went bang. Yeah. Start me at 50 on these. 50, 160, 170. Thought we'd have a lot of interest Amazing. in these. At 170. At 170. Looking for 180, 180. Oh, another bit. Oh, 180. We're all done and finished. Well done. Happy with that, aren't you? Yeah. You are good at this, Amanda. That's a chunky profit. We should celebrate with a cocktail before oh, we leave. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. We all in the chair. Before yeah. they take them away, rush away. <laughs> <laughs> Up next is the pair of German Bisque dolls. I'm rooting for you, Stephanie. They're the sort of things that if I'd been oh, given them at Christmas, you would have given them away. I would have pulled their heads off. <laughs> 30 then to start. 30 pounds, 30 bid, thank you. 35 now. Very it's well done, Stephanie. It's going up, it's going Anyone joining in in the room at 35? A little more, Online a little more for little people. 35, are we all finished? Yeah, that's a profit, that's the profit. though. Well, well done. done. Yeah. Well done. Good profit. Well done. Finally, a profit. Well, they're gone. And we made a profit. Oh. Hooray. Well done, guys. Well, very yes. well. Well done. <laughs> it's the final lot. Amanda's 19th century leather armchair. I think it's a really classy chair that would fit nice. in a modern interior as a yes, statement it piece, or it would fit into a nice 17th century cottage. Well, I think a modern hallway, it would actually look lovely. £100. Straight in at 180, at 180, 190, at 190. Online bid at 190. Go, on, little chair. go, go. At go. 190. If we're all finished, at 190. Bravo. In and out. Bravo. Well done. Well done. The bidders are loving your items, Amanda. Great result. I think we should go off and do the tally. We can add up the one. Come on, gang. Let's go and get a calculator. Stephanie and Sir Hat began with £400 after all auction costs. They have a final figure of £207.46. Amanda and Tim also started with 400 big ones and end with £445, making them the star-studded winners. The profit of £45 will go to children in need. Well done. Well... <laughs> Well done. Oh, well, ladies. Oh, well done. Oh, well thank done. You. How did you find the auction experience today? You did really well, you Loved two. It. And I thought we Loved were it. miserably cheated. We were unlucky. We? Well, we it's been an absolute pleasure, hasn't it? Yeah, yes, we have to bid it you has. Farewell. Yeah. See you later. Oh, bye, bye. Bye, bye, ladies. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye, treasures. Safe oh. driving. Phew. That was amazing. We had a lovely time, darling. What a good couple of days that's been. And it's so lovely to see you again. Yes, you it will is. Tart. <laughs> I know, honestly. Outrageous. Toodle pip, darlings. We'll miss you very much. <laughs>